Grammar to Go brings you Can You Put a Comma Before And? Well, can you? The answer is yes, you can. But you don't always need it. Let me explain. Here's a list. When you write pen, scissors, pencil sharpener and spoon, you don't need a comma before the and because it's being used as a word link. It links pencil sharpener to spoon, one word to another. But there are two ways to use and. A word link, like the one we've just seen, and idea glue, which joins ideas rather than words. Let me explain idea glue. This squirrel steals nuts and bolts. That sounds pretty unlikely. Perhaps we've got something wrong. That's better. This squirrel steals nuts and bolts into the neighbour's garden. Now, to make sure that somebody reading this sentence gets it right first time, we can add a comma. Here. Now they couldn't possibly misread it. So that comma is quite important. And it is before and. This and is idea glue. It joins the whole idea this squirrel steals nuts to the whole idea bolts into the neighbour's garden. It does not link the words nuts and bolts. That is why the comma is a good idea. So, don't use a comma in a list when and links one word to another word. But when you're gluing ideas together with and, use a comma if it helps the reader. You don't have to, but you can. Can you use a comma before and has been brought to you by Grammar to Go, the grammar guide at your side.